Okay, let's see if we can understand percent in about 10 minutes. Now this video go, uh, might go a little bit more than 10 minutes. I'll try to keep it uh, no more than 15, but I'm gonna shoot for 10 minutes. And uh, really what, what we're gonna be covering is kind of the most important basic percent uh, skills and understandings that most uh, math students, whether you're like a middle school or high school or college student need to understand. But this uh, video is also relevant for just practical mathematics because percent is everywhere in our everyday life. So the better you understand percent, the better off you're going to be. So we're going to get into this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics. But what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Now, if you happen to be preparing uh, or studying for some sort of special test that has a uh, math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe the ASVAB or teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my middle and high school mathematics program for homeschoolers. Won some nice awards this year with that program. If you need some excellent comprehensive math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into percent. And again, this is going to be like a little... Uh, mini crash course. So, um, but I think it's going to cover the majority of what everyone out there kind of needs to know about percent. So let's start off by first defining percent. So kind of a formal definition of percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. So in mathematics, a ratio is effectively a fraction and it's a ratio or a fraction that compares a number to 100. Kind of an easy way to think of this is a fraction where the denominator is 100. Okay, this is going to be a uh, percent. So let's just take a look at this here, 70%. Well, how can I think of 70%? Well, let's compare 70 to 100. So I can write that this way, 70 over 100, and that is equivalent to 70%. Okay, so we're going to use this percent symbol here to really kind of define or express percent. But if I said, hey, write 70% as a fraction, well, all you have to do is literally just um, take that percent and put it over 100, and there you go. And, of course, we can convert 70 over 100 into a decimal as well. But that's effectively what percent is. Now, another good way to think of percent as a uh, is a part out of a whole, okay? So let's take a situation like this. Let me see if I can make this pretty uh, decent. Okay, let's say I had four blocks, and let's shade three out of the four. If I asked you what percent of the blocks are shaded, well, three, okay, this is part of the entire four blocks. So three out of the entire four are shaded. So I would express a fraction and I would be thinking of this as a part out of the whole. So three out of the four, and then we can convert or write this fraction as a percent. And of course, I'm gonna go over that here in just one second. But now let's uh, talk about some basic percent skills that you're going to need to know to solve percent problems. And by the way, feel free to use your calculator uh, in terms of doing these calculations. But let's talk about uh, two primary skills you're gonna have to understand. So the first is, how we change a percent into a decimal, and then we're going to do the reverse. Uh, we're going to take a decimal and write it as a percent. So let's uh, talk about this first skill. So let's say we wanted to write 24% as a decimal. Well, what's the definition of percent? Remember, it's a fraction, okay, that the denominator is 100. So I can write this 24% as 24 uh, over 100. So effectively what you're doing is just dividing that number by 100. So we want to change a percent to a decimal, just divide by 100. But the, uh, really, when you divide anything by one uh, by 100, all you're doing is moving the decimal uh, point two places to the left. So uh, let's take a look at this here, 24.0%. If I want to um, divide this by 100 to change this into a decimal, the decimal point goes two places to the left and you end up with point 
to 4. Okay, so now let's talk about the reverse. Let's go from a decimal to a percent. So instead of um, dividing by 100, all you're going to do is multiply by 100. So 0.24 is 24%. So we can uh, take that 0.24, multiply by 100, but effectively all you're doing is moving the decimal point over two places to the right. Okay, so if you understand these uh, two uh, skills, then I think you're going to be ready to um, handle these percent problems, okay? So I would say these are the uh, most common type of percent problems that most students and uh, have to solve, or most of us have to figure out whether you know we're doing something at our job or whatever the case is. But these are kind of four example problems that I think cover the variety and flavors of percent problems you're going to encounter. So let's uh, first take a look at this problem. So here we have 8% of 20. So we're going to talk about how to find a percent of a number. Then we're going to uh, figure out this problem. 9 is what percent of 40? Okay, 9 is what percent of 40? So we're going to try to figure out the percent. Here we're given the percent. We just want to find the direct percent of a number. But here we're trying to determine the percent. Then we have more interesting problems like this. 5 is 4% of what number? Okay, so 5 is 4% of what number? And then we have this last problem, and it basically kind of goes like this. If we have a value of, let's say, 27, and increases to 30, okay, what was the percent of increase? So uh, we're talking about percent of increase and decrease, but we'll talk about that in this problem here. Now, this is a good point in the video where if you think you can do these uh, problems, I would encourage you to pause the video and just do a little pop quiz here and put your answers in for number one, two, three, and four. Put those into the comment section and we'll see exactly how well you understand percent. But I think if you, if you could do these problems, and by the way, if you could do them in your own way, the way you were taught, if this is kind of a review for you, it doesn't make a difference as long as you um, have a command of the process and um, you're not guessing and you get the right answer, then you're going to be successful in my eyes. So let's go ahead and get to it. And we'll start off with our first problem here. All right, so number one, 8% of 20. So when we, when we want to find the percent of a number, it is super easy. The procedure is we're going to take that percent and convert it to a decimal. So we talked about how to do that. So here, 8.0%. We're just going to move that decimal point over two places to the left, so it's a 0 0.08. So what we do is we change the percent to a decimal and multiply by the number that we're trying to find a percent of. So 0 0.08 times 20. We can go into our uh, calculators. It is 1.6. Okay, so we got that right. Excellent. Matter of fact, I'll give you a little happy face with a check mark. All right, so uh, let's move on to the next problem. Again, I'm trying to keep this around 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go over a bit, so uh, hopefully it won't hold that against me. But let's move on to the second problem here. 9 is what percent of 40? Okay, so we're trying to determine the percent. But, you know, when we kind of think about this, remember I told you to think about that part and whole, uh, you know, um, way of conceptually thinking about percent. So if I'm looking at this, I'm like, 9 is what percent of 40? Well, 9 out of 40, 9 is some sort of part out of this whole of 40. So if I'm thinking about that part and whole, like, okay, 9 is a part uh, out of 40. 9 is how much out of 40 in terms of percent. Well, what you want to do is take your calculator and take that 9 divided by 40. And this is effectively uh, converting a fraction to a decimal. Just divide the numerator by the denominator. So 9 out of 40 is equivalent to the decimal 0.225. So remember, we talked about how to go from a decimal to a percent. All we need to do is multiply by 100 or simply move that decimal point over two places to the right and we get 22.5%. All right, so if you got that right, excellent. I'll give you two check marks. Let's move on to the third problem. Okay, so the third problem um, is a little bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and read this here. Five is 40% of what number? So in these type of problems, again, there's different ways you can approach them. All depends on how you were taught percent. I love to use basic algebra. So we're going to um, convert or translate, rather, this verbal sentence into an algebraic or variable uh, expression or equation. So this is how we're going to do this. So five 
is uh, equivalent to 5 is, when you see is in mathematics, that is the equal sign. So 5 is or 5 is equal to 4 percent. Remember, when we're dealing, we're trying to figure out percent problems, we're going to convert those percents into decimals. So 4 percent is 0 0.04 as a decimal of what number? Well, we don't know that number, so we'll use the variable x. So here's the thing, though. For, if I wanted to find uh, 4 percent of some number, what would I do? Well, I would just take that 4% as a decimal, 0 0.04, and multiply it by the number. Okay, well, I don't know the number, so let's just call that x. So 0 0.04 times x is what? Well, I just know that the answer is 5. So you have to be able to interpret uh, what's going on. So 5 is equal to 0 0.04 times x. When I take 4% of that number, the answer is 5. So now we just simply have to solve this basic equation so 0.04x is equal to 5. I can write that as, um, well, 5 is equal to 0.04x. I can write that as 0.04x is equal to 5. When you have an equation, uh, the uh, left is equal to the right, and the right is equal to the uh, left. So you can uh, uh, write the equation this way. I'm just flipping sides. And now I'm going to solve for x. Hopefully you, you know how to solve a basic algebraic equation. Very easy. All I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.04. And I got to figure this out right here. 5 uh, is being divided by 0 0.04, or 5 divided by 0 0.04. Going to my calculator, I get 125. That is the answer. Okay, so again, there's different ways you can approach uh, this problem. If you took a different approach and you're like, no, I, I like to do my percent problems this way, that's perfectly fine. As long as you're getting the right answer, that's what counts. All right, let's move on to this last problem. And this is a percent of increase problem. And this is uh, very similar to what you have to do in a percent of decrease problem. So let's imagine um, you're at a starting amount of 27, maybe like $27. Let's say you have $27. Let's, let's say you make $27 per hour. That's a pretty nice job, right? And you got a raise to $30 per hour. So what was that percent of increase? Okay, how much did your hourly uh, rate go up? Okay, we went from 27 to 30. What was the percent of increase? Well, here's how you have to figure this out. One, we have to find the absolute difference between the, the numbers, between 27 and 30. So we have a starting amount and an ending amount. So the difference between these two values in terms of absolute terms is 30 minus 27. It's a 3% increase. Okay, we start, we always have to keep our starting or original amount in mind. Okay, so in other words, 27 uh, went up positive 3 to 30. Okay, so that is the difference uh, between 30 and 27. Now, we want to determine 3 is how much is what percent of 27. Okay, so 3 is what percent of 27. That's what we need to figure out in terms of a percent of increase. You always use, you always compare um, from the original or starting amount. Okay, and again, uh, this is a part out of the whole situation. So think about it. If you have $27, if you're making $27 per hour, and um, you know you want to compare $3 out of that $27 per hour, that's how much you're going to be going up, right? So we're going to figure out 3 is what percent of 27. So take that 3 divided by 27. We're going to get a decimal, okay? So we're going to go from a fraction to a decimal and a decimal to a percent. So 3 divided by 27 is 0.11 repeating. In other words, it's just 0.11111. It keeps going on forever, or 0.1 repeating, rather. So uh, we take that uh, 0.11 repeating, and then we're going to multiply. Really, in, uh, technically, it's 0.1. But anyways, we're going to multiply that by uh, 100, right? Decimal um, to a percent, or move it over two places to the right, and we're going to get 11.11 percent uh, um, as the answer, and that is a percent of increase, all right? So if you were at $27 per hour and your boss says, hey, well, I'm going to give you 11.11% uh, uh, increase to your salary, that's going to bring you to $30 per hour. Okay, so I probably went over 10 minutes, but listen, you know, I don't feel too bad about it because I'm uh, trying to deliver valuable content. I'm giving you 
what I'm trying to um, do here is give you like a crash course that is super effective. So please forgive me uh, uh, about the time. Anyways, you know, I kind of throw these numbers out there just to kind of, you know, get you interested in learning percent quickly. But I covered a, a quite a bit of ground here, and hopefully this clears up questions about percent. If you need more help, like more in-depth instruction about percent, I'm going to suggest that you check out two of my math courses. One, my pre-algebra course, okay, if you're at that level, or two, I have a math foundations course. Also teach percent in my algebra one course as well, and you can find all these courses at my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.